The Railway to Kakia, 9211. Bye. The two of them came to the top of the stairwell overlooking the train platform. Noah playfully wrapped his arms around Kara as they both began to skim the substation for a man in red. So what's this guy supposed to look like? Noah said. The man in red, I mean. Hearing that, Kara just couldn't resist. I suppose he's a man, wearing, red. Noah slightly pulled back as his girlfriend looked up over her shoulder at him. Both their faces sported a smile going from ear to ear as the realization hit them both. With his arms still around her, he leaned in and passionately kissed her shoulder. All these months of planning, saving, and preparing for this trip to make this video. And it all finally came true. This was the video that would change their lives forever. Noah slowly pulled away, giving the only playful response that made sense. Well then, go find a man wearing red, he stated as he gave her one more smack on the bottom. Kara lightly jolted again as she started to walk forward with a smile on her face. Overwhelmed with her excitement to remind her boyfriend again not to do that when the cameras are rolling, she proceeded to walk forward and scan the few people on the platform. Seeing this, Noah straightened his posture. He had always loved the playful relationship he had with Kara, but now it was time to get serious. A few minutes passed as the two of them looked around, seeing no one who fit this description. One having gone one way and one the other, they now met in the middle. Noah pulled out the instructions from his pocket to scan them over again. It says to go to the center and ask three people, he said, gesturing to Kara, indicating she should probably go ahead and do that. Looking mildly annoyed, Kara lightly nodded and started figuring out who she should ask first. Talking to random strangers was never her strong suit but screw it, she thought to herself. They were going to get this done. Seeing an old man and woman standing near the edge of the platform, waiting for the train, she figured maybe they were sweet and kind. She slowly approached them, lightly tapping the old man on the shoulder. He turned around to see this young foreign woman and smiled, assuming she must be lost. Kara wasn't sure if they spoke English, but she also didn't want to offend anybody by speaking as if they didn't. Excuse me, could you two tell me where I could find the man in red? Her question instantly invoked the old woman to anger. The old man placed his hands around the shoulder of his wife, calming her, as he began to speak in what seemed to be Hindi. Kara, taken aback by this, lightly put her hands up and slowly started backing away. Sorry to bother you, she said, turning around and walking back toward the safety of her boyfriend. Catching eyes with his girlfriend, Noah stated the obvious. Well, that doesn't seem to be working. Kara's face screamed no duh as she replied to the obvious comment. Yeah, no kidding. The two of them stood in the center for a moment wondering if they should try to approach another person. Just then, Kara had a brilliant idea. She shouted out at Noah. You know what, why don't we do the intro shot right here? With a puzzling yet optimistic look on his face, Noah shrugged. I don't see why not. He pulled his phone out of his pocket, activating the camera. You want to do the intro for this one? You look great in a short girl. Kara tilted her head to the side, preparing to combat the banter. Oh ha ha ha, she said, adjusting her hoodie. Sweater on or off? She asked as Noah began to frame the shot with his phone. He aligned the phone camera on her, bringing it into focus. Off, of course. More views, he said, smiling, finally getting the angle right. She sighed at the face of realization and acceptance. Pulling the hoodie off over her head, she then tied it around her waist. Noah looked at her through the camera, trying to figure out if he liked it or not. Tank top. Hoodie over short shorts with sneakers. He proclaimed. Yep, we're going to get a lot of views. Kara looked a little annoyed but was just ready to get on with it. Yes yes, a lot of views, let me know when you're ready. Noah nodded as he hit the record button. Alright, go for it, he said, grasping the phone with both hands, steadying himself as best he could. Kara took a deep breath and just went straight into it. 
Many countries have urban legends, but not many of those legends are true. Well, what if I told you we found one that's not only true but has a lot more to the story than you'll ever know? Stay tuned as we explore the tunnels of a train station in Mumbai, India, in search of the Red Man. Noah, so overwhelmed with the perfect take his girlfriend had just done, stopped the recording and blurted out loud. And cut. His voice echoed throughout the station. Kara squealed with excitement. Oh my god, we're actually doing this. She ran full force, throwing her arms and legs around Noah. He lightly stammered, catching her by her backside, trying not to drop the phone. She placed her hands on Noah's face, leaning in close. When we're done with this video and we get back to the Airbnb, I'm going to thank you properly for coming on this trip with me. Noah smiled, beginning to speak. But before he could, she planted her lips on his and began to make out with him for all to see. Suddenly, the voice of the old woman from earlier began screeching at them. Kara stopped kissing her boyfriend and turned her head toward the couple near the edge of the platform. Though she didn't speak Hindi and had no idea what the woman was saying, it was obvious that they weren't friendly words. She slowly turned her head, scanning the platform. All eyes were on the two of them, her arms and legs wrapped around him and his hands firmly on her bottom bracing her for support. A realization just struck Kara like a ton of bricks. This is probably not a good look in this culture. She quickly whispered to Noah, lightly patting him on the shoulder. Put me down, love. As he slowly set her down, he too noticed all nine people on the platform staring at them. If it wasn't for the old woman screaming in Hindi, the silent stares would be creating tension that even a knife couldn't. Noah, feeling protective of his girlfriend, started to puff up and began to shout back at the old woman. What are you looking at, huh? I don't speak that nonsense. He yelled, his words echoing across the station. The old man standing next to the woman then stepped in front of her as she grew silent. His eyes locked with Noah indicating not only no fear but a long life of experienced hardship. Not the kind of man you would want to mess with. A cold chill ran up Noah's back as his eyes moved around the platform and back to the old man. Am I going to have to fight this guy? He thought to himself. The station grew quiet. The long nothingness seemed like an eternity drawn out and was suddenly interrupted by the sound of a train coming through one of the tunnels. The young couple jumped at the screeching sound of the brakes. Kara put her hand on her chest as Noah put his hands on her shoulders. The two of them breathed a sigh of relief preparing to laugh when a cold chill hand grabbed Noah's arm from behind.